Have you ever wondered what the most terrifying calamities in Africa's history are? Picture a continent rich with diverse cultures, breathtaking landscapes, and a history that stretches back to the dawn of humanity. Now imagine that same continent being subjected to some of the most dreadful disasters in human history. That's what we're exploring today. From devastating plagues that swept across nations, to famines that brought millions to their knees, from genocides that stained the land with blood, to epidemics that threatened to wipe out entire populations, Africa's past is punctuated by periods of unimaginable terror and hardship. But these aren't just tales of despair. They're also stories of resilience, of communities coming together in the face of adversity, and of the human spirit's unyielding determination to survive. So, brace yourself as we take you on a journey through time, unfolding Africa's most terrifying calamities. Our journey begins in the late 18th century, with a calamity that claimed thousands of lives, the Moroccan Plague. In the year 1799, a devastating plague swept across the land of Morocco. The origins of this plague are believed to have been from the fleas that infested the rats aboard trading ships, a grim reminder of the interconnectedness of our world and the fragility of human life. The Moroccan plague was not just a health crisis. It was a societal calamity that brought with it a wave of death, fear, and uncertainty. As the plague spread, it left no corner of the society untouched. From the bustling markets of Marrakesh to the quiet streets of Rabat, the plague wreaked havoc on the Moroccan people. The impact was profound and immediate. The Grim Reaper, in the form of this plague, took away thousands of lives, leaving behind a trail of despair. The bustling streets became silent, and the vibrant markets turned into ghost towns. The once lively Moroccan culture was draped in a cloak of sorrow and loss. The aftermath of the plague was equally devastating. It disrupted the economic structure of the country, leading to a period of stagnation and decline. The once thriving trade routes became corridors of death, and the economic backbone of the country crumbled under the weight of the plague. But amidst this chaos and despair, the resilience of the Moroccan people shone through. They faced this calamity head on, picking up the pieces of their shattered lives and society. The plague, while it brought with it death and destruction, also served as a catalyst for change. It forced the Moroccan society to reevaluate its healthcare system and implement measures to prevent such outbreaks in the future. The Moroccan plague of 1799 was a tragic chapter in the country's history, but it was also a testament to the resilience and strength of the Moroccan people who rose from the ashes of this calamity to rebuild their society. The Moroccan plague remains a dark chapter in Africa's history, a testament to the resilience of its people. Fast forward to the 20th century, we encounter another calamity, the Great Ethiopian Famine. In the early 80s, Ethiopia faced a crisis that would be remembered as one of the most devastating famines in history. From 1983 to 1985, a deadly mix of drought, civil war, and government policies led to a severe food shortage that affected millions of lives. The drought was the most immediate cause. A lack of rain led to crop failure and a decline in food production. The worst affected areas were the northern regions of Tigray and Wallow, where crops withered, livestock perished, and water sources dried up. However, the drought was not the sole culprit. The Ethiopian government's policies and the ongoing civil war exacerbated the crisis. Government resettlement programs uprooted families from their homes, disrupting traditional farming practices. The civil war further strained resources as funds were diverted from social services to military efforts. The effects of the famine were catastrophic. It's estimated that between 400,000 and 1 million people lost their lives due to starvation and related diseases. Millions more were displaced, and the social and economic fabric of the country was torn apart. Yet amidst the tragedy, there was a glimmer of hope. The international community rallied to Ethiopia's aid. Images of starving children and desolate landscapes caused an outpouring of global sympathy. Concerts were held, and campaigns were launched to raise funds for famine relief. Aid organizations rushed to provide food, medicine, and other forms of assistance. In the aftermath of the famine, efforts were made to build resilience against future crises. 
agricultural practices were improved, early warning systems were established, and social safety nets were put in place. The Great Ethiopian Famine was a disaster of epic proportions, but it also sparked a global humanitarian response. It was a stark reminder of our shared humanity and the power of collective action in the face of adversity. It was a testament to the resilience of the Ethiopian people and their ability to rebuild and recover. The Great Ethiopian Famine was a disaster of epic proportions, but it also sparked a global humanitarian response. Next on our list is a man-made calamity that rocked the world, the Rwandan Genocide. In the heart of Africa, in the year 1994, a horrifying event unfolded that would forever scar the history of Rwanda. The Rwandan Genocide, a dark period of just 100 days, saw the mass murder of the Tutsi ethnic group by the hands of the Hutu majority. The roots of this atrocity can be traced back to the colonial era when the Belgian colonizers favored Tutsis over Hutus, creating a rift that would later explode into violence. The assassination of the Hutu president Juvenal Habyarimana in April 1994 was the catalyst that sparked the genocide. In the days that followed, a wave of violence swept across the country, leaving no village untouched. The Hutu extremists launched a well-organized campaign of slaughter killing Tutsis and moderate Hutus alike. Men, women, and children were mercilessly murdered, often by their own neighbors, with machetes becoming the symbol of this mass extermination. In the end, an estimated 800,000 to 1 million people lost their lives. The international community's response was, unfortunately, marked by inaction and indifference. The United Nations and powerful countries around the world hesitated to label the situation as genocide and thus failed to intervene effectively. This lack of immediate action has since been a subject of intense criticism and deep regret. In the aftermath of the genocide, Rwanda was left in ruins. The social fabric was torn apart, the economy was shattered, and the trauma ran deep. But the Rwandan people, resilient as they are, embarked on a journey of healing and rebuilding. Today, Rwanda has made remarkable progress, but the scars of the genocide still remain, serving as a stark reminder of the past. The Rwandan genocide serves as a chilling reminder of the depths human cruelty can reach. The story of Rwanda is not just one of horrific violence, but also a story of hope, resilience, and the enduring spirit of humanity. Our journey ends with a recent calamity that shook the world, the Ebola epidemic. In the second decade of the 21st century, the world watched in horror as the West African countries of Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia were engulfed by the largest outbreak of Ebola. This virus, named after the river near its first identified case, is a severe illness with a fatality rate of up to 90%. The epidemic struck between 2014 and 2016, claiming over 11,000 lives and causing widespread panic. The causes of the Ebola epidemic are multifaceted. Ebola is a zoonotic virus, meaning it originates in animals and jumps to humans. Bats are considered the most likely natural hosts of the virus. The virus spreads through direct contact with blood or body fluids of a person who is sick with or has died from Ebola. The epidemic was exacerbated by weak healthcare systems, delayed international response, and social and cultural factors such as traditional burial practices. The effects of the Ebola epidemic were devastating, reaching far beyond the immediate death toll. The healthcare systems in the affected countries were overwhelmed and the fear of Ebola led to the neglect of other health issues. The epidemic also had severe economic consequences as trade and travel were disrupted. However, the global response to the Ebola epidemic also marked a turning point. The World Health Organization declared it a public health emergency of international concern, mobilizing resources and expertise from around the world. This response led to the development of an effective vaccine and improved protocols for managing such outbreaks. The lessons learned from the Ebola epidemic are crucial. They underscore the importance of strong health systems, rapid response to outbreaks, and international cooperation. The Ebola epidemic is a stark reminder of the need for global cooperation in the face of health crises. Our journey through Africa's most terrifying calamities has been a harrowing one. We've walked through the chilling corridors of the Moroccan plague, the Great Ethiopian Famine, the Rwandan Genocide, and the Ebola epidemic. 